Hey everybody, Console Collector here. I'm back again with another round of awesome pickups. This video is packed full of goodies. I've got some stuff from thrift stores, a bag of goodies from my local retro video game store, a couple of things from Facebook Marketplace, including a really great deal on a complete in box Super Nintendo game, and I got a little mini retro TV, and I got a couple of things that were on clearance from a Halloween store, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. First thing I want to share with you guys is some thrift store pickups. I've grabbed some movies and games and a couple of books. Let's take a look. I found the classic Small Soldiers DVD. Tiny Toon Adventures, How I Spent My Vacation, the original movie. This is total nostalgia for me. I used to watch that a lot on VHS when I was a kid. I got the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. I got a goofy movie. An extremely goofy movie. I always like the first one better than the second. This was a cool find. Cujo. Great classic horror one. We got Jean-Claude Van Damme in Double Impact. Batteries Not Included, a classic 80s film. This one was super cool to find. Kazam featuring Shaquille O'Neal. I got Funny People. Daredevil. I actually saw this movie in the theater. I know a lot of people really don't like it, but I didn't mind it. And then the greatest season of all of South Park. This is the 11th season. This has the Night of the Living Homeless episode, which is one of my favorite South Park episodes. And I got Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. That's a good one. The complete Beethoven collection that has eight Beethoven movies. And then The Brave Little Toaster Goes to Mars. I've never actually seen this one. I've seen the original. Hopefully that one's decent. And then just a couple of meh games. I got Pirates, Legend of the Black Buccaneer for PS2. Complete. It was five bucks. And then Hell's Kitchen for the Wii. I have no idea if it's any good, but I took a gamble at eight bucks. So that's the games and movies from the thrift store. Now I actually found a couple of books. I highly recommend you guys check out books in your thrift store because you never know what you're going to find. Something that I that I find from time to time is strategy guides. And I found this Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace strategy guide. It's definitely well used, but it's a strategy guide. Got it for $1.29. I've actually found some really good stuff in the book section before i found lots of goosebumps books i remember finding super paper mario strategy guide in there so yeah there is strategy guides in books sometimes and then this is kind of off topic but i found this beautiful beauty and the beast hardcover book it was only three bucks my wife loves beauty and the beast and i thought this was kind of a cool little art book and comic style book for her so yeah very nice All right, that's it for the thrift store stuff. I got a bag of goodies from my local retro video game store. I bought a ton of trade credit there, and I used up some more. So let's go ahead, do a little different. Let's just dump it out. Kind of see it all at once. The sticker there. All right. I got a complete in box. Capcom Classics Mini Mix for the GBA. This has Mighty Final Fight on it. That was the main reason why I wanted it. Also has Strider and Bionic Commando. This is like kind of awesome and it's still cheap for complete in box. I was surprised being that Mighty Final Fight is a very expensive game on its original platform. So that was awesome. I picked up Cruising USA. Can you believe I never had this game? 30 bucks, a bit pricey. I slept on it too long, but finally have it. And I got here Wireway for the DS. I remember seeing this somewhere and it looked pretty interesting, so I picked it up with the trade credit. And Battle of the Giants Dinosaur, complete in box for the DS. My kid's really into dinosaurs, so that'd be a good one for him. This is a cool one. It's called Tang Tang. It was boxed with no manual, some sun fading, but for 20 bucks. It's a really interesting puzzle platformer, it looks like kind of reminds me of um maybe bubble bottle bubble bobble a little bit haven't played it yet but interested 
I'm trying it out. Also it gives me nails and scales kind of vibe. And I picked up Road Riot four wheel drive for five bucks. Why? It looks really bad. I wanted to try it out to be honest. And I got Pink Panther in Pink Adela Pink Adelic Pursuit. And it was $24, believe it or not. It looks like a pretty decent side scrolling platformer. Then we got Ghost Rider on GBA. Then we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then Tom and, Jer Tom and Jerry Infer Infernal Escape. Some of these titles are tongue twisters. Then Pino B. This is kind of a hidden gem on the GBA. And then Looney Tunes Double Pack with Dizzy Driving and Anime Antics. Or Acne Antics. Next up, I just want to share with you this little mini retro TV that I got off AliExpress. Here it is here. It's called the Family Pocket. That's it. I guess GB300. So it's like a built-in clock mini TV. I don't think you can actually hook anything up to it, but it does have a bunch of built-in NES games. You know, one of those like knockoff mini consoles. It was pretty cheap and the reviews I seen on it were pretty cool. And I thought it was kind of a neat little gimmick. So here's the TV here itself. It's definitely small. I like it. Uh, I'll fire it up and show you guys what it looks like. But yeah, I love these little gimmicky little TV things here. So I thought it was a cool little piece for the game room. Next up, some Facebook Marketplace stuff. Now, I got a couple of things here with me from this one guy, and we'll have to go over to another part of the game room to see the rest of it. So, he had a whole bunch of stuff listed on Facebook Marketplace. I kind of made a bundle deal with them and bought a few things. So, the first thing that I got from him was this original 1999 Articuno figure. He had it for 10 bucks. Like, wow. Articuno is... One of my favorite legends. It is my favorite legend from the first gen. So really happy to grab that. Doesn't stand too well. Put them back there. And then I got this next thing for my son for his upcoming birthday because he absolutely loves Luigi's Mansion. But it's this little Luigi's Mansion 2 Luigi with the poltergust. I think he'll really like that. And then I picked up a 3DS game, Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal. He had it for 15 bucks, and it's complete. It's about half price of what it's going for, so I thought I'd grab it just because I was grabbing so much other things from him. All right, we're over in the retro room. Another thing I got from him was this official Pokemon Center from Japan, Articuno Plush. And it's kind of small, but super fuzzy and cute, in great shape. And then, looking up here, I got this official Ho-Oh plush. It's really big. I didn't have a great place to put it, so I hung it on my little light fixture here. I think it looks really cool. It's really large, actually. Pardon the light here, guys. But, yeah. Ho-Oh plush. I'd never seen a Ho-Oh plush, so I was really excited to get this. And it is an official Ho-Oh plush. And then the final thing I got from him is this Amiibo end stage display. It's really cool. Looks awesome. Holds Amiibos perfectly. And then I also got this little warp pipe from him as well. So I rearranged the retro room a little bit to make space for this. 
and I'm just loving the way it looks. So one of the things I got from my local Halloween store in Clarence is this six and a half foot tall Jack Skellington animatronic. I love The Nightmare Before Christmas and Jack Skellington and I just thought this thing is so cool. Kind of crazy purchase. It was on clearance, but he was still fairly expensive at $120. But let me just show you what he does. So it has a little foot pedal here. I'll start him up. So he's a bit noisy with the robotics of him, but he's still super cool. Looks great. Doesn't look cheap like some of these animatronics you see at stores. So yeah, really happy to add Jack to the game room. And no better way than this huge like six foot tall Jack. And finally from the Halloween store, I got this super cool Nurse a Silent Hill mask on clearance. There you can see the tag there. It's been marked down from 110 to 50, and I picked it up with 25% off the 50. So yeah, I got a really great deal on it. It's super detailed and really well done. Doesn't look cheap at all. I love the look of it. I just stuck it on a mannequin styrofoam head to help display it. But yeah, I love Silent Hill, and I thought this was a really cool mask. I tried it on. My family does not like it. It's way too creepy, but you know, being a Silent Hill fan, I thought it was super awesome. All right, final thing for this pickup video. I got this complete in box Super Nintendo game on Facebook Marketplace for 80 bucks, which is a steal. Now, the box is pretty beat up in rough condition, but heck, for 80 bucks, I was okay grabbing it. I picked up this copy of Super Mario RPG Legends of the Seven Stars. This is one of my favorite games of all time, one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo. I already have it complete in box in much better condition, but for that price, and it was literally five minutes from my house, I just had to pick it up. Make some good trade bait. As you can see, the box is taped up on this end. Some screenshots of the game. Such a classic game. I love this game. You guys gotta play it. It's even for people that don't love RPGs. Like me, I'm not a huge RPG fan, but I just love this game so much. This flap's missing. Pulling it out. Even the manual's got some wear and tear on it but hey it's still complete love the artwork on this manual the inside pages are really nice actually just the cover is pretty beat the cart however is fairly decent it has the famous wear on the edge though which like 90 percent of modern rpg carts have i did open up and test it and it works great I ended up testing it and playing it for over an hour in nimbus land and then this was actually kind of funny to see in here. Someone wrote down some of the songs for Totofoski. When you do the tadpole songs. If you played this game, you know what I'm talking about. It's always cool to find these old notes and games and stuff like that. And then here's some stuff on Gino, Mario, Peach slash Toadstool, Apple Juice, Mallow, Thunder. Just some strategies this kid had, I guess. Super cool to find that in the box. So yeah, complete in box Mario RPG for 80 bucks. Not bad at all. I'm pretty sure that the cart alone is worth more than that. So I'm sure Collector Summer would love this box. It still will display fairly decent, despite it being fairly beat up. So that's going to do it for this round of pickups. Got a lot of really awesome stuff. Really excited about my Jack and some of these games. What was your favorite pickup? Let me know in the comments below. All right, that's going to wrap up today's video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on social media. The information is on screen now and in the description below. I want to thank everybody for watching. I am the Console Collector, and until the next video, happy gaming.